All right guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going over how to find a determinant of a three by three matrix the easy way or the fast way, whatever you wanna call it. Um, basically, you saw in the last video, we do cofactor expansion and we uh, do all these little sub matrix multiplication things and it's actually, you know, it's not the easiest thing to follow along, um, but a faster way to find the determinant is just take the first two columns and write them again to the right hand side. So we get one, three, two, and then two, four, two. All right, so once you have them written like that, you wanna draw your diagonals here. So there's gonna be three diagonals that you can do each way. One is gonna be like that, one is like that, and one is like that. And you switch colors, and then there's another set of diagonals that goes like this, that each have three elements in them. All right, so now all you do is for the blue ones, the ones that go from top left to bottom right, uh, you take the product of these and you add them all together. So to get started for the determinant of A, then we get the, the first term is just going to be one times four times one, plus the second term, which is going to be two times two times two, plus the third term, which is gonna be four times three times two, four times three times two. All right, and now what you do is you just subtract all of these products. So you take the product of these diagonals and you subtract all of those. So the first one is gonna be two times three times one, minus one times two times two, one times two times two, minus four times four times two. That was this last one in here. All right, so when we simplify this, we just get this term is four, plus two times two is four times two is eight, plus four times three is 12 times two is 24, minus, what's this, six minus four, minus uh, four, 16 times two is 32. All right, um, we can just clean this up a little bit, uh, put all the positives into one term, so we get four plus eight plus 24, that's going to give us uh, 36. And we're gonna subtract out, this is gonna be 30, uh, 38, 42, all right. Okay, so when we just simplify that, we're gonna find that the determinant of A is negative six. So I think that way is a lot faster than doing the full cofactor expansion. You basically actually get like the same expression in here, um, but just by writing the first two columns and then identifying the three diagonals each way that each have three elements, boom, Blue one's positive, green one's negative. You can just hammer these things out super fast for three by three matrices. Um, let's go over the example two that I had in the last video. So we had a matrix that had the elements one through nine. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the first column, which is one, four, seven, place it here on the right hand side, and then two, five, eight, the second column. And again, we're gonna draw on our diagonals. So we get this one is one, five, nine, two, six, seven, three, four, eight. And then these other diagonals, two, four, nine, one, six, eight, and three, five, seven. So when we go through the determinant of B, all the blue ones, we take the product and we set that to be positive. So we get one times five times nine plus two times six times seven plus three times four times eight. And we come in for all of the negative products here, where we subtract the products of all of these uh, these green ones. So we get two times four times nine, minus one times six times eight, minus three times five times seven. All right, so when you simplify these, this first term is uh, becomes 45, the next term is 84, the next term is 96, and then for all the negatives, we get minus 72. This term up here is minus 48, and minus 105. And just for uh, just to help kind of go through the example, if you group all the positive ones, we get positive 225. And then if you group all the negative ones, we get negative 225. So we find that the determinant of matrix B here is equal to zero. And that's exactly what we got in the last video when we did this by the, the full cofactor expansion method. But hopefully you guys uh, like this shortcut and uh, I personally would always opt for this uh, when possible because it's just a lot faster.